You know, we got so many whiny people out here trying to tell me how to do my freaking job. Well, this isn't even a job. You get the metaphor. This is a hobby. But, uh, you know, if people want to hear about Luke, people are going to hear about Luke. If I want to talk about Luke, I'm going to talk about Luke. Now, yesterday's video was more of like a promotion for Jar's video, if anything. And I also kind of wanted to give a little bit of a, a take, and add just a little bit to what Luke's possible defense could have been. But here's the bottom line. The bottom line is Luke's not a good person. Okay? Bottom line is Luke is a bad person. Okay? Objectively. There's no way you can tell me that somebody that goes ahead, you know, and slanders people willingly, knowing full well what they do is not a bad person. Okay? You can't tell me that. And, you know, it'd be one thing if he if he played this off like a troll, right? Like, you know, when I told the Oreo, hey, yeah, I was kind of reaching when I threw some of those points at you. It was because I didn't bother to actually get an explanation out of you. Granted, that could be on the Oreo, too, because he didn't freaking explain himself until we went to RFC. But even still, right, it was just like, the Oreo, you know, I know you want me to take down your videos, but I'm not going to because they're making, they make the bank. They're making the bank, baby. And you know what? He can hate me for that. I don't give a shit. But uh, Luke, he doesn't take that approach, you know, he takes the sneaky, sneaky, sneaky approach where he tries to pretend like he's still in the right, like he doesn't, he's not honest, right? That's number one, that's when you lose me uh, first and foremost right there because if you're not honest with yourself, if you're not honest with me, that's disrespectful to me. That's disrespectful in general and that shows me that you're weak and I have no sympathy and I have no respect for the weak. Therefore... If you're a bad person, and you're acting like a weasel, why shouldn't I talk about you? Why shouldn't I point out every terrible thing about you? And it's very easy. All you have to do is admit your wrongs to me. All you have to do is stop disrespecting me. And show me, show the world what I already know, what I've seen through you. And that you're a scummy piece of garbage. That's all you have to do. That is literally all you have to do. But you know what? We got all these people bothering me, you know, telling me, oh, you shouldn't talk about Luke. I'll talk about Luke whenever the fuck I want, right? Number one, <laughs> for whatever fucking reason I want, right? And I'm justified. That's the best part about it, too. Uh, there are multiple justifications for it, right? Luke is a bad person. He is a scummy, slanderous, terrible, weaselly person. He is, objectively. I don't care if you're on good terms with him, right? Um... And you don't want to throw shade at him because you're scared of him as well? I'm not, I'm not a bitch. I'm not going to do that um, <laughs> with anybody, right? So when I'm going to point out that Luke is losing subs because people are getting tired of him slandering people, when I point that out, I want you all to take that in. And I want you to relish in that. And I want you to realize that bad things can happen to bad people as well. And when that happens, it's okay to feel good about it. Right? We're not gonna we're not gonna live in this softy era, right? We're not gonna, you know, be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, Luke. No, I'm glad, Luke. I'm glad that this is affecting you. Do you know why? Because I actually have the balls to say what most people don't have the balls to say. Because me and these people, we play very different games on this YouTube sphere. Right? They wanna be corporate, they wanna be fun, they wanna be, you know, they want the money from the pay pigs. You know what my reward is, Luke? Minimum amount of money from these YouTube games, right? But overall, I want the message being out there. I get, again, I don't know how many times I have to repeat it. I get pleasure out of hurting terrible, awful people like you and anybody else that comes my way. That's my main satisfaction. That's what makes me different. I don't need the $200 plus a day of streaming like Augie gets, right? I don't need that, you know? I'll leave that to Augie. Augie can do that. That's his thing. That's not my thing. <laughs> That's not my thing. Right? I could be on good terms with those people, but at the end of the day, Sen does what Sen does. Sen looks out for Sen. And Sen loves absolutely trashing shitty human beings, no matter how big or how small they are. Sometimes the small ones, they're not that worth it. Because at some point, you got to feel bad for them. That, you know, if you don't hand them this, they're probably going to off themselves the next day. So those are rare exceptions when I'm feeling nice. But for big 100k channels that were petty enough to start drama with a 16-year-old over just bullshit. Yeah, no. Uh, fuck that guy. Uh, fuck his sub count. And fuck his earnings. 
I don't care what happens to him. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say it because I have balls. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I know. Mask off. Or was I ever wearing a mask in the first place? I don't know, guys. I don't know. But that's the point. You know, call me a narcissist, but I'm going to be that narcissist that's always fucking right. And that's all that fucking matters. And nobody's going to fucking guilt trip me. And nobody should guilt trip any of you either. Know your fucking worth and accept it. And then just make those motherfuckers bow down. Just like everybody bow down to me. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Peace.